High blood pressure is a real problem in South Africa. There's about 6.2 million people with high blood pressure and half of those probably uh, are not well controlled. It's reasonably easy for people to fall out of care, not come back for clinic appointments, forget to collect their medication and then have intermittent periods where they don't have medication. And this has a meaningful impact on their risk of heart disease and stroke. A lot of patients in our settings coming from poor backgrounds um, struggle with high levels of unemployment resulting in high levels of stress just to access basic resources for healthy living. So it's quite important that we try and keep you in care, keep you on medication and actually get your blood pressure controlled. Well, how do you get people to stay in care? How do you get them to come back and to keep coming back? We're reminding them to come back, improving the experience that they have at the clinic and have people think about their relationship with the clinic as a, as a relationship, as a caring sort of a space. Companies and institutions are making use of mobile phones to send messages and we thought we could try and see if we could use it within healthcare. The engineering team set up a very straightforward system of ensuring that we could collect data from patients in the clinic and then use that to set up automated text messages. In the clinic they're using some tablets and mobile phones and so I um, adapted an app for them to collect all the data, so the patient's names and contact details. So we had all the information from the medical health record, which is accessible by this module, which we then pulled the information needed to send the SMSs. Once this was set up, the aim was that this should continue with very little input from the clinics, so it's something that we hope can be implemented at quite a wide scale. This we worked mostly with a guy called Dr. Vernon Bailey. I've learned myself and another PhD student here, I've learned quite a lot about that. And so the trial was carried out with over 1,300 patients at Alanga and the Bontehevel townships. The messages that we sent covered things like prompts to take medicines, worries and concerns about hypertension. For example, if people felt they were having side effects, we suggested they might want to talk to the doctor or nurse. So it's something about getting, getting information to people at a point that's relevant to them. If you are doing research based in high income countries and you're doing research in low income countries, it's really important to try and contextualise that, to adapt it, to make it appropriate. We couldn't have done this work without the huge collaborations we've had with the University of Cape Town, with the Medical Research uh, Council uh, here in, in South Africa um, and the Centre for uh, chronic disease in Africa. We heard many, many stories about um, people feeling a lack of control uh, in the past and then this intervention actually making them feel that they had regained control over their healthcare management. If you missed your appointment, the SMS would come soon after to say, we missed you, please remember to come in anyhow, even if you've missed your appointment. Often they would just go into denial. They just want to avoid uh, you know, having a bad experience by going back when they've missed an appointment and this really helped them. They loved getting a happy birthday SMS. They thought someone was remembering them. Someone cared about them in the health services.